I'd like to show you my personal five favorite keyboard shortcuts in MathCAD. And the first one, of course, is the definition operator. Everyone uses this all the time. For example, I could define a new variable called amplitude. And then for the keyboard shortcut, it is the colon key on the keyboard. And let me give it a value of four. I can also use it for defining a function amount and I'll pass the variables P, R, and T to it. And this is going to be equal to P times one plus R. And let me move the cursor over, shift six, and this is to the T power. Okay, for the next one, let's take a look at converting to Greek letters. And of course, you can always go to the symbols drop down. You have your lowercase Greek letters and your uppercase Greek letters. But if you are using a lot of Greek letters, this is a lot of mouse travel. So to, to save yourself time and effort, you can use a letter followed by control G to convert from regular alphabet to the Greek alphabet. And I apologize for calling the regular alphabet. Hey, I am from the US. Okay, so let me type in, for example, pi, P, control G, and then equals. And there we have the value of pi, or I could define a function, for example, for wavelength. Let's do lambda, control G, as a function of new n control g and this is going to be equal to once again i'm using the definition operator and this will be c my constant divided by new n control g and there we have our new function defined another one subscripts and i use literal subscripts all the time i am a subscript fiend and the way that you do that is with control and the minus key so for example i could define my final velocity as v and then control minus final and then definition operator colon key 0 0.25 times c and let's do an inline evaluation and there we have it for number four Let's take a look at matrices. And we have the matrix column operator extracting a column. That is control shift C. And the matrix row operator is control shift R. Yes, technically those are two keyboard shortcuts, but here you're getting two for the price of one. So for example, I have my matrix M. Let's do M and then control shift C. And let's get the column with the index number three, that is going to be equal, be equal to three, seven, 11, and 15. Remember, we have the origin variable, which is set to zero. That means that the index three is actually the fourth column. And let's do the row operator. Let's do M and then control shift R. And let's get the two index and then equal, and there we get eight, nine, 10, and 11. Okay, for the last one, let me scroll down where I have a little bit of space on here, and we can put in X, Y plots with control two, and chart components with control one. So I have a range variable defined, and I have a function for that range variable. So let's type in, Control followed by two. And here we have our XY plot. And along the X axis, I'm going to put in my function, which is going to be X as a function of range. And then for my placeholder for the X axis, I'm going to put in range. Then when I click outside, here we have our function plotted. Of course, we can grab it and make it wider if we want to and go to the plots tab if we want to do any other additional formatting. Let me position down here and scroll down and let's put in a chart component. This time I will use the keyboard shortcut of control one. And here we have the chart component placed. Let me right mouse click and insert my 
x-axis expression. That will be range once more. Let me move over and I will right mouse click and insert my y-axis expression. And this will be x as a function of range and then click outside. And there we have the same function. And of course, we can double click on the chart component to start formatting it. So there you have it, my personal five favorite keyboard shortcuts. Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite keyboard shortcuts in MathCAD are.